So for today's Spanish lesson, repeat after me. Desnaturalizado. 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 Hey folks, TSG here. Thanks for joining me. Many of you have seen me use Flex Seal. Today I'm going to use Flex Seal in a unorthodox way. Let's put it that way. Um, on my, you've seen my Toyota Taco here. Um, without going into a very long story, there's a leak in the transmission pan plug. Um, I tried to, uh, I saw that there was a leak there, I tried to back it out, and evidently it's stripped. So at this moment, I'm unable to actually extract it all the way, but it does find a little bit of thread, so it does get very snug. The problem is, a little bit of transmission fluid seeps out. So until I can get a part in, which is, I, I think I'm going to need a whole new pan, um, because it is kind of spinning freely, um, or I just might need a new nut. They're both steel. What are the chances of both of them being, you know, messed up? I don't know. But in the meantime, I got to drive the thing. And if I can limit the amount of transmission fluid seeping out of there, um, the better. So I am going to snug fit that uh, plug as best I can, clean it all up with alcohol, get it all um, cleaned up so there's no oil, transmission fluid, etc. And then I'm going to spray over the nut and the pan, you know, around that nut, uh, the plug. And uh, hopefully when it dries, it should seal enough that, because uh, it's going to be a few days for the part, and i got to drive the thing. And the last thing I want is it for it to just leak enough fluid where the transmission goes bad. Not a good thing. Let's get underneath the truck and spray on some Flex Seal. Here's the uh, transmission oil pan. That's the plug. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, transmission fluid seeping through the seal. Um, it is stripped. This right here is the, the place where you check. It says check right on it. It's how you check your fluid level. And then upward in this way, you can't see it. It's off camera. That's where you fill it. This is a sealed, what they call a sealed transmission. There's no dipstick up top, none of that. So you got to get a, a hose that goes into this filler cap. And we lost about half a quart of nearly, I think there's, I think there's two quarts in here, or maybe just shy of that. So we lost about a half a quart. I was able to fill it up with a half a quart. So I know that I've got enough fluid in here. I, trust me, guys, I know there's this long way of checking temperature and doing all that to make sure I have the right amount in here. But, um, for the next couple of days, I'm gonna to have to just get by with this. So I'm gonna wipe that up, put a little bit of alcohol around to try to break up the grease and the oil, and then um, spray on some of that Flex Seal and see what happens. Yeah, that's more than just a drip. I and mean, that's been two or three hours, so this is not gonna be acceptable over the long haul. So I know I gotta get it replaced, but in the meantime, we're gonna try this. Do this for me. Um, give me a thumbs up if you think the Flex Seal will work well, at least to get me by for a few days, or give me a thumbs down. That's probably the first time a YouTube person has said, give me a thumbs down, if you don't think it's gonna work. And then uh, that'll be the way we kind of vote on this. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Will it work? Will it not work? And I'm only talking, you know, at the most to the end of the week. This is uh, Tuesday, so it's going to take me a couple of days to get the part. And of course, I'll be checking it. But let me know. What do you think? Getting some alcohol here. Well, uh, I'm just trying to break up the the sludge and the oil from the uh, it's a synthetic stuff so I don't know how 
terrible this is going to be. Okay. Let me get another. I realize, guys, I mean, guys, I feel a little bit like the Beverly Hillbillies right now. I'm a little embarrassed by all this. I wish I could just take this pan down. You know, there's screws around there and uh, a gasket. I can drop this pan, put a new one in. Um, I can't get this bolt out without an extractor, and I don't, and I don't have time at this moment to actually try to extract that. I'm going to need, you know, a full day, and I don't have a full day. All right, it's dry. Okay, Phil, help me out here, buddy. All right. Okay, what's the worst that can happen? Um, I get a whole bunch of rubber stuff everywhere. And uh, I gotta clean it up. All right, here we go. All right. We're gonna see what happens. After uh, maybe about 10 minutes, I don't see any seepage. I don't know what's going on underneath that rubber though. Um, it's going to be a couple hours before I need to use this vehicle. So uh, we'll come back just before we got to go and see how it's doing. Yeah, and it's uh, pouring rain today too. We'll put a little fan on there just to uh, help keep some air circulating and hopefully uh, help it dry. <laughs> Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Alrighty, a few days later, there's the uh, repair with the Flex Seal spray. And uh, it is leaking, folks, a little bit. I mean, there's a little bit of fluid that's coming out of there. I will say, though, um, it has maintained just a few drips, maybe a tablespoon of uh, fluid has come out. I've been collecting the uh, fluid in a pan. That's about uh, three days worth. So it is still seeping, but not, uh, not too bad. At least it's not pouring out. It's not a permanent fix. I've got a pan on order. The whole issue here was I couldn't find one of these. Uh, I finally found one after a couple of days of searching and it's on order. It's gonna take another five days. So I'm hoping the Flex Seal will last a little bit longer. This pan gets extremely hot. That fluid is very caustic. Caustic, capable of destroying or eating away by chemical action. And uh, it's probably just eating through the rubber over a period of time. Uh, plus the ground heat, I mean, Texas, right? <laughs> Asphalt, yeah, it's hot. So will I give it a thumbs up? I will give it a, um, a decent score. I'm not gonna give it a 10 because it didn't fix it permanently, but I will give it around a seven um, because it's a trooper. It's still on. It's only dripping a little bit. I'm adding fluid until I can get uh, my repair done. And then maybe I'll take you through my entire, you know, dropping the pan and fixing all that. This was a stupid design. That is uh, Toyota, come on now, the sealed uh, transmission thing. Not a good idea. Uh, the bolt got stripped. I'll cover that all in, maybe in a later video. But I just wanted to tell you about Flex Seal. It worked. It's starting to wear out. Uh, it's not a permanent fix, but man, it's buying me some time. And uh, I do appreciate it. All right, if you guys need some Flex Seal, there's a link down below. And uh, it works in a whole bunch of different ways. I've got some videos. You can take a look at my Flex Seal videos. Working well. They didn't pay me to say any of this. I'm just taking you on a journey with my experiences with Flex Seal so that you can make an informed decision. All right, I'm gonna take off. God bless you, God bless America. Me, America, bless God. We'll be back, I'll show you more about this later. It's hand washing time, COVID-19.